So that brings us to the other kinds of eukaryotic microbes I'd like to tell you about. There are several that we won't touch upon. There are slime molds, for example, which are considered microbes. Uh, there are microscopic algae, and then there are protozoa. Collectively, we call these last three protists. And I just want to focus on the protozoa because we'll be talking about those in some detail. The protozoas are a gr diverse group of unicellular eukaryotes. That means they consist of just one cell. And a very famous one is the paramecium, which is a protozoan with cilia on it. It has tiny hair-like extrusions around the surface. You may know paramecium because when you were in school, you may have looked at a drop of pond water and seen these very tiny protozoans swimming around. It's often studied in schools because it's safe. Many human pathogens happen to be protozoans. For example, as shown in this photograph, there are flagellated protozoans that cause human disease, the trypanosomes, the agents of sleeping sickness. Amoeba are also protozoa, and some of these are known to cause human diseases. For example, the entamoeba, shown in this photograph, which are agents of diarrheal disease. There are ciliated protozoan parasites also. This one is called balantidium, which in humans can cause gastrointestinal disease. And finally, some of the protozoas called apicomplexa can cause human disease, and these include the very well-known plasmodia, the agents of malaria, and toxoplasma, the agents of toxoplasmosis. Let's take a look at the timeline of evolution on Earth because it turns out that microbes are incredibly ancient. We think that the Earth formed about four and a half billion years ago, and about four billion years ago, life began. We're not really sure what that life looked like, we don't have any experimental evidence for it, but many scientists think that it com composed of small nucleic acids replicating in the waters of Earth. About three and a half billion years ago, the first bacteria evolved. These were photosynthetic bacteria that could take sunlight and make energy from it. But these were not oxygenic bacteria. In other words, they didn't make oxygen. So up to that point, there was no oxygen on the Earth. About two and a half billion years ago, two and a half to three billion years ago, the photosynthetic cyanobacteria emerged on Earth. These were oxygenic. These bacteria actually produced the first oxygen on Earth. And because of that, then about two and a quarter billion years ago, the aerobic bacteria arose. Those are the bacteria that can use oxygen to grow. Unicellular eukaryotes arose about two billion years ago. A little less than a billion years ago, the multicellular eukaryotes arose like jellyfish. And then plants and animals about and a half billion years ago. The hominids, which include humans, chimpanzees and the apes and so forth, uh, arose about 14 million years ago, and humans only 150,000 years ago. So microbes are truly ancient. We classify living things by using what we call phylogenetic trees, and sometimes we call them the tree of life. And the purpose of these trees is to show how organisms are related. So let's take a look at these microbes that we've talked about and put them on the tree of life. First, we'll start with the bacteria. They're all shown here. And the way this tree is, is organized, it shows you the relationships with the different bacteria. So the further apart they are, the more distant. All the bacteria are related, as you can see, but different kinds of bacteria obviously have differences among each other. Now let's put onto this the eukaryotic microbes and other eukaryotes that we've talked about. Here we include the protozoa, the algae, plants, animals, and fungi. You can see they form a separate branch on the tree of life. They're more related to each other than they are to the bacteria. And finally, let's add the archaea. They're in green here, and you can see that they, in two, form a separate branch on this tree of life. So the three groups of eukaryotic and bacterial and archaeal microbes that we've talked about all arose from a common ancestor billions of years ago, and over time they have diverged and become very different. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation.
Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.